Okay, so for number 21, we want to determine whether this geometric series is convergent or divergent. So uh, a geometric series is convergent if the absolute value of r is less than 1, right? Because we can see here that the geometric series, we just keep adding terms. We keep adding um, a plus a r to the power of 1 plus a r to the power of 2 and so on and so forth. So if we keep adding infinite terms, the only way for this sum to converge is if those terms, as we keep adding more and more, um, each new term essentially goes to zero, right? Because if we're essentially adding zero, it means that the total sum is not going to change. And that's only possible whenever the absolute value of r is less than 1. Um, because if we take, say, one half and we raise it to a thousand or something, that's going to be very small. Whereas if we have 1.01 .01 and we raise it to a thousand, that's going to grow bigger, right? So our sum here, our series begins at one and goes to infinity of six times 0 0.9 to the power of n minus one. So we can see here that our ratio, the thing that is being raised to some power, is 0 0.9 and the absolute value of 0 0.9 is less than 1, so it does converge, right? Um, and now that we found out that it does converge, we have to find out its sum. Now, the sum of a series that's indexed at 0 um, is it follows this rule here. Now, we have to be very careful about the index because this rule here only works if we're describing a series where the first term is just the constant a, the second term is the constant a times r to the power of 1, the, th the third term is a times r to the power of 2, and so on and so forth, right? So let's see. Let's see how this series here behaves. Because we're starting at 1, not at 0. However, our power is n minus 1, not n. So... If we plug in 1, we're going to have 6 times 0 0.9 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is just 6. So we can see that our first term is just going to have the constant, so that matches up, right? What about our second term? If we do 6 times 0 0.9 to minus 1, this is just going to be 6 times 0 0.9 to the power of 1. So we can see that the second term here is a times r to the power of 1. So this does follow the the rule right it does follow the pattern perfectly even though the index may seem a little bit weird so from here we can see that a is 6 and r is 0 0.9 once we have found this we can now plug it into this formula here so therefore the sum actually i'm just going to maybe put this here is going to be equal to a so 6 over 1 minus r so 1 minus 0 0.9, which is the same thing as 6 over 0 0.1, which is the same thing as 60. Because remember, we're just plugging in this formula here. And that is it for problem 21.